Hey guys, Wobby here and welcome back to Dying Light to episode 107 where today we're going to be tackling the Fish Monk mission and uh, seeing what else we can do in the next 30 minutes. The Fish Monk mission is right over here. After that I plan to go over to... what's this? All in the Family. Gotta do that real quick. Just to fix the brightness as per usual. There we go. Brightness is set. I can hear these guys' voices, so everything should be okay. I tried to record this episode earlier, but the power went out midway. Well, just as I basically started. So. And when I went to him, they couldn't hear him completely. So maybe wait just a little bit. That was when I just load up this game. Hmm, there's actually an easy way over this way. I can hear the music and everything, so I guess all the sounds should be working. This is a weird glitch or bug that happens. Ow! <laughs> but it's only whenever, like I said, when I load up the game, not all the sounds work immediately. But it should be fine now. I have lost them all. They're gone. And they were so beautiful. I sacrificed everything for them. Everything. And yet, uh, it was worth it. It's a moment I had with them. Mr. Newsman, could you shut it? But who's gone? Do you need help? Oh, no, my friend. <clears throat> Thank you. But there's nothing to be done here. But why? Who did you lose? My fish. My precious fish. <laughs> Can you imagine what it's like to keep this when water is so hard to come by? But they were my friends, my teachers. Uh, maybe wasting water while the fish face version wasn't such a good idea, but it sounds more like a bit of fans. Why would you sacrifice water for fish? Why would you sacrifice water for fish? <clears throat> but why not? Because water is expensive. It, it's a rare commodity. Oh, I know that. I had to give away almost all I had. My supplies, the flour, and my father's weapons. But they can't survive without the water, of course. And out there, in the world, who knows how many fish are left. Most water has been polluted. Oh. All the dead fish I've seen floating belly up. Such a sad sight. Why are fish so important to you? <clears throat> Can I ask you a question in return? Why is this weapon so important to you? I need it to protect myself. You know, to survive. Ah... You see, it's all so subjective, isn't it? What's necessary, what's not? <coughs> For me, fish are fundamental to existence. Fish teach you everything you need to know about life. Where are your fish? What did the fish teach you? So, what did you learn from fish? Oh, uh, how much time do you have? Because they've been teaching me for years. <coughs> they taught me how to listen to others. They're great listeners, you see? And they helped me sleep. <coughs> Have you ever seen a sleeping fish? So still, so peaceful. But they don't mind being stared at all the time. And aren't bothered when rude people knock on the walls of their tank. Why is that? Patience. Oxygen is important. Almost as important as water itself. Have you ever seen what happens when water lacks oxygen? Well, I 
could go on and on. But I guess it's not the same if it's not coming from the fish themselves. Now where are your fish now? And now I'm curious, where are your fish? Unfortunately, like I said, my fish are not with us anymore. And they're gone. Well, what happened? Uh, <clears throat> someone ate them. Wait, wait, someone ate your fish? Someone broke into my home and ate all of my fish. Then he drank all the water. The water you sacrificed so much for. Who? Tell me. Will we go after him? Uh, nah, forget about it. I think I know who it was. I saw discarded fish bones in front of his place. Uh, but um, let's forget about it. What? You don't want revenge? He ate your fish. Uh, one of the many things fish teach you, as I mentioned, is patience and accepting what fate brings you. <sighs> Once you watch them for a while, just swimming in their tank, they don't question where they are. They don't complain that the tank is too small. They just are. Wait. Wait, what? So, so, so let me get this straight. You spent everything on the water for your fish, then someone ate your fish and drank that water, and yet you're not angry? Oh, I was angry. But what does anger do for me? It causes nothing but negativity and remorse. <coughs> Maybe one day we'll fish in rivers and oceans again. Fishing. Ah, yes. <laughs> Fishing can also teach you a lot about life. You sound like some kind of fish monk. <coughs> I'm poor as a monk now. That is for sure. Farewell, my friend. I'm sorry you can't learn anything from my fish. Well then, that's fish monk complete. Right then. And next is, like I said, it would be all in the family. It is a night quest. So we gotta go this way. Uh, best way to get there is a uh, stuff it. They're going down. I forget that that doesn't do what I think it would do. It launches me upwards. Right, over this way. Let's see. All in the family. I can't remember what that quest was about. I guess I'm about to find out. Let's see if I remember it. It's been too long. It's been too long ago since I did it. Back when we did everything for the survivors. So, so long ago. Back when I still had a working console. <laughs> well, I should say the motor was still working at that point. Whoa, 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 whoa! Get back! Get off! I throw him off or is he here in the grass? And now he's off. I don't know where he went, but he's gone. I found a teddy bear. What do you have on you? Yeah, great. Virals. Ow! You will not jump on me! I do need your stuff, though. Your, uh, uh, what's it? The infected trophies is what I need. How much damage does this, this rare weapon do? Not enough. Not enough for me. Okay, there's you, just some money, get these shrooms. Get the feathers, get the lavender, and we're off in uh, the same right direction. Yeah. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Yeah. Okay. At least yeah. I was alright. Didn't die from it yet, but... Okay, let me heal up. The clothes is nearby. Like, the clothes. The quest is nearby. Yeah. Yeah. I don't 
Uh, uh, what's going on here? Hey, is everything all right? I can hear you a mile away. Not for business! Sorry about her. Save your sorry for Theodore. You better find him right now or else. Monica, maybe this is for the better. You don't get to tell me what's better. But I'm telling you, you better get Theodore out of there. Come on. Do you really want that? You think life is hell on Earth now? You wait and see how I make you feel if Theodore comes to any harm. Who's Theodore? Who's Theodore? Theodore is the most brutal motherfucker in the bazaar. Should be in a PK prison. Fuck you, Will. He's my boyfriend, not yours. And what did you do to protect her? So then, what happened that might be better this way? Yeah, tell him, Will. I... I couldn't watch. This brute hooking up with my sister and... Will, Lord Theodore, in a dark zone. And now he'll fucking go and get him out. Monica, wait. You're a pilgrim, right? That place is soaked with chemicals. Hell, Theodore's probably dead already. You want me dead too? Even if I manage to find him, the asshole will just kill me. Pilgrim, would you... Would you get that jerk out of there, please? Man, you just said if he makes it out, he'll kill you. I have no choice. Look, there's more. I'm pregnant. I found out this morning. Theo doesn't know yet. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. Okay. Well then. Theodore, huh? Ah, uh, this quest comes to mind, but it is still can't quite remember everything about it. Ah, uh, next time... I should accept these quests during the day, go over to where I need to be, then find the nearest place to switch it to nighttime, and not switch it to nighttime in the middle of uh, nowhere. Ah, uh, great. Ah, no, 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 don't fall off! It's like, fine. Stay on the roof, it's the best thing to do. Great, there's one of them already, already over there. Stay on the wire, stay on the wire, stay on the wire. <laughs> oh! Who saw me? Where? How? Oh, this place is full of resources. I want it! Oh, this is the place where I was just at. I missed some items, I see. Um, okay. Better watch out. There's one dead ahead of me, actually, right down below. Oh, great, he's coming over. He's coming over. Anyway, right, now he's down there. Keep an eye on that white dot. And if you can see, I don't know why. From, for me, the camera doesn't uh, give the... Outline as much as the screen actually that does. But at least you can still see that white dot. Unless just because I'm looking at the cameras for a small screen. I don't know. Go this way quickly. Yeah, great, there's one right here, right by right by. Oh, okay, he's on the roof with me now. Okay, how far am I from my objective? 92 meters. I don't got too far to go, but these guys, uh, not making it easy for me. Hmm. I follow this roof through. No, 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 no. You saw nothing. Don't come back here. I don't know where I go if I go back here. Well, he's in, I have to. Easy does it. Climb up and go. Hide. Woo -hoo -hoo. This one's really not making it easy. Don't come in here, don't come in here. Oh, for flip's sake! Run! <laughs> I 
get to my objective. Where do I gotta go? Into the dark side. Go, 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 go. Roll, go, quickly. In, 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 in. Oh. Okay. We're safe. Okay. Oh, that pursuit or hunt, hunt this over still and scared the living life out of me. I jumped. Okay. It's the dark zone, so I would prefer to loot this place flat. Uh, gotta keep in mind of that timer at the top of the screen there. It's how long I have before I die. And these chemicals. And uh, can I open this? No, it has to be open from the other side. Um, I can probably go this way. Is there zombies in here? Probably. Hmm. What's in the fridge? Canned food. Old world vodka. Right, here's the door I tried to open. How's that timer looking? Four minutes and twenty seconds? I can do it. What's this pipe again going to over here? Right. Out to the other side. Doesn't this this go into here? I remember this build building now. Um what's in here? Asporfin and Sunday shoes and some bracelets. I gotta turn this off, because if I lockpick the the gate, I remember the siren goes off. Is that everything in here? How are we doing on our timer? Three minutes and thirty seconds. Great, we can open this and loot this quickly. Got cigarettes. Cigarettes, cigarettes. Safe. It's a lockpick. A lot of people are medium difficulty. Come on, where's your sweet spot? Oh, oh, found it. Ah, oh, come on. Come on! No! Uh. There we go, got it. What's in here? A wallet. Now let's take it. I'm gonna lock pick a hard one. We got two minutes to open it before we have to run out of here back to that UV flare downstairs hmm where's your sweet spot where's the wait 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 wait, wait. got it now come on it's right there there we go ooh some tools over manual a weapon? That is not worth to me. I'm not worth much. I got better stuff. Let's get the crystal. That's gonna be some nice valuables. What was that? Uh, the uh, lamp has got a mind of its own. Uh, okay, well, I'll leave. You there and you do your thing and you leave me alone, okay? Apparently there's ghosts in here too. Uh where's the stairs? Right here. And I go back down. Is there a box of some sort over here? There's a box right there. I saw the outline of it. There it is. But how do I get to it? I'm gonna say that this UV bar is real we quick let my timer go back up before we go in. Um, are we done searching upstairs? Is the top clear? <laughs> uh, I think the top is clear. I think we search everything up here that we need to search. Um, then uh, this leads downstairs then. Let's go. Okay, now into here. <laughs> Behind this whole door. What was that sound? 
Well, I guess it's because I broke that. Now they trigger the virals to spawn. Well, there's no zombies in here. It's a bunch of loot. Which, hey, I don't mind. What's it here? Hey, some Sunday shoes, antibiotics, and some cigarettes. Good old valuables. Stuff that don't give us money once we sell it. Which reminds me, I don't think I've sold my valuables in a while. Now, where is this Theodore at? Vodka and some beeswax. And what's in here? Some tools and antibiotics. Ooh, and a wristwatch. Yeah, cigarettes, cigarettes, cigarettes. Nothing here. Scrap metal? Yes. Scraps. Okay, um. Bit weird, but okay. Now, how do I get that chest there? It's behind that wall there. Oh, wait a minute. Who the fuck are you? Come closer or I'll kill you. Will and Monica sent me. Fucking Will! You gotta fucking run! I get out of here. Damn me! Oh, wait, calm down. I'll fucking rip his guts out and tie him in a fucking ball! Ah, uh, oh. Actually, um, Monica's pregnant. Wait, what? With your kid. Wait, are you telling me that I, I'm going to be? You're going to be a father. Well, fuck me. That's fantastic. A goddamn miracle. Why did you say so in the beginning? I would have, but... You were a little, uh, worked up there at first. What if there's not only one? Maybe it's twins. Or triplets. What's your name? If it's a boy, what a name him after you. Uh... You should decide. Nah, uh, I'll leave that to you. Now get out of here. Monica's is waiting. And Will... He has an apology for you. Nah, no apology needed. He was kidding around. Yeah, like guys do. No harm, no foul. You leave him alone? You couldn't be hurt my kids, uncle. But why would I go and do a thing like that? Uh, I better go propose to Monica. If we don't get married, people will talk. People could be so cruel, you know? Well, dang. Okay, uh... All the family is complete! What we got here? More scraps? Find his door. Ah, that's probably the box I was looking at, wasn't it? It's not gonna have an inhibitor, but it's gonna have some crystal dust, armor, and an immunity boost to get some tools out of that. The zombie sounds are freaking out and just playing non stop. Um, is that everything in here? Whenever we go into one of these, we have to grab everything we can. And that chest is still there, bothering me, because I can't get near it. It's just behind this wall. I'm gonna stand by this Yuri thing. Yuri thing? Yuri? <laughs> oh my word. And looks like my immunity is back up to full. Okay, back on the nightmares we go. Is there one nearby? Don't touch me. Do you have any lights here? There are still zombies here as well. Wait, is this, is this not where that one mission was, right? Uh, 
Uh, what was it? One we were looking for the crystals, the one right before this one we're th that we're supposed to do. Um, yeah. My mind's blank. Anyway, with that now done, let's see. This mission here is actually right there. What is this? The essence of survival. We're gonna do that and then we should be at 30 minutes. Honestly, it is almost daytime. So I should be okay. I have to go the other way. Go the other way, but I still gotta sort of kinda of be careful. Even though it is close to daytime when they will go away. It's still not gonna be within the next few seconds. It's gonna be like a minute or so. I have to keep moving. I need to stay on the roofs. Come on, make it, make it, make it, make it! Don't! Oh, okay. Yeah, quite what I want out of. One of them is seeing me. One of them is seeing me. Climb! Why are you stuck? Climb! Climb the. Oh! That was close. Okay. I guess we keep going this way. I've been here? I have. Apparently I just kept missing stuff every single time I came here. Except for the weapon. I don't, I don't want the weapon. Uh, right. Over this way. Wait, one of them's up ahead. One of them's right there. Still gotta be careful, like I said. Where am I? What's this? Almost got it. At least two tries. Okay. <laughs> Wait, I remember this. Wasn't there a mission to, to, to do with this? Ooh, there's a volatile right there. But I can't. If I if I try to open that, it'll shock me. And it won't let me open it because it's keeping. And it's like, ah, I can't speak! It keeps shocking me so I can't open it. Ugh. Ow! Except for this one. Not even anything in it. Ooh, okay, I'll go out the other way without making noise. Ow! Ow, ow, ow. Okay, so the mission's over there. <laughs> Where is he? I hear him. Oh, he's right above! No, 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 no. Right there. Ah! Where are you going? Where are you going? Do they have a firecracker or something? I do. Yeah! That's not what I wanted to do. Go there. Look at that. Firecrackers, it's popping. Run away. Oh, crud. There's another one there. Okay. Go. Oh. Okay, man. I must have not seen to see that wire actually there. My lord, it is so dark. Broad knuckles. Um, I'm going down. I'm going down and I'm going up over here. Okay. Safety. 
Oh, you're always so negative about things, Naira. Because you don't understand me. No one understands me. And what I'm doing is the essence of survival. The essence of survival? The essence of survival? What are you talking about? Want to find out? Just close your eyes. Okay. What do you perceive? Sounds. Well, um, I hear noises. Yes. What else? It smells? Well, oh, something stinks. Exactly. The smell. Impulses going straight from the senses to the limbic system, triggering an emotional response. Memories. The well-being of the mind. But, uh, that smells like, well, that smells like shit. What did you expect? What do you think people use as fertilizers around here? Too much information. Sorry. Uh, and you two are? So, who are you and what are you doing here? Before the fall, I used to work in a fragrance manufacturing company. I consider myself lucky to have been professionally active within the only century when the world actually smelled nice. Now it's back to normal. So I asked myself, how can I change that? What scent would make people the most happy in this miserable world? And is that the essence of survival? I sure hope you don't mean smelling like shit is the essence of survival. Of course not. I have this really exciting idea for a new fragrance. People are going to pay a fortune for just a whiff. I call this Turn Me On. And it's almost finished. I just need some scraps for the heart note. Heart note? Uh, heart note? Mm. The middle note of the perfume. Metal scraps and lavender. That's all I'm missing. Oh, of course. Metal scraps and lavender. The obvious blend. Naira goes out of her way to be uh, controversial. If you bring me some, I'll tell you everything about my secret formula. Okay, well, I have the stuff on me. For her perfume, too. <laughs> now that makes more sense. Metal scraps. Naira wants them. Oh, I hope this isn't some wild goose chase. Making perfume out of metal. Sounds absurd. Okay, well, here we go. Here, your uh, ingredients. Mmm, good. I wish there was more oil on the metal scraps. But, oh, Naira, can't you just be thankful for what you've got for once? She gives me this shit every day, I swear. Okay. Okay. Voila! It's ready. Here, smell it. <sighs> wow. It smells... It's... Oh, boy. It's like heaven. What is it? Silly little boy. Too young to know, aren't you? It's new car smell. Uh, what, a car? Are you disappointed? The scent of luxury is the base note, the smell of confidence is the heart note, and the fragrance of risk and adventure is the head note. All you dream about is to turn it on and drive away into the distance. Thanks so much for helping me out. Unlike some people. Here, have this. I rubbed it with Turn Me On. This will remind you to tune into your sense of smell now and then. Okay then, and the essence of survival is complete. Great! So with those three quests done easy peasy, I forgot that the essence of survival is the perfume quest. And the fish monk is finished. Uh, the family, uh, what's it? No, I forgot what the other one was called. And now the essence of survival is also complete. So what does that leave us with currently? Well, this is our main mission, of course, and then the expiration day challenge. Hmm. Okay. And of course, let's not forget the diary anomalies that we have to tackle, and also some of the question marks as well. 
to reveal more things that we have to do. To do. But I've also noticed there's a house here that we just haven't claimed. So I claimed all of this stuff and checked all the question marks that had little houses in this area. And the whole episode dedicated to that. Well, um, as we'll go there at another time. Well, our next goal should definitely be is the expiration date challenge, but the nearest, oh boy, I got two options. Well, this one here seems the closest, or I could go here, but that's all the way down in the PK base to walk slowly and all the old nonsense there. Or goes the windmill behind the PK base. But I think this one here is closer to that. And then after we're done with that, well, then we begin our absolute true nightmare and worries. Well, I should perhaps tackle the question marks first as well. Because that's not the only GRE anomaly in this area. And they still, they give inhibitors according to the rewards. So, not all is lost, even though the, even the GRE quarantine buildings, they can see they don't give inhibitors, they give a crystal. Which is a rare valuable. Which I don't feel like is worth wasting my time on it when I've already t tackled it and it's not going to give me a reward. And also one of these question marks here is another generic anomaly somewhere. Could be this one here, I believe. I'm not too sure. Gonna have to take some time in an episode just to, to discover all these question marks. Just make sure we've tackled everything before we go continue on with our main quest. Do all the side missions before the main missions. Right. Hey, the windmill we have to go to is right over there. And how long is this night time still going to be? Well... Is that the, uh, the volatiles around? I'm not seeing any, so I'm going for it. I'm not seeing any. I jump and I get spotted by one immediately. Oh, because he was like, right there. Great. <laughs> Am I safe here? I am not too far from the windmill. Hey, I'm actually here already. Excellent. Is there a shop here that I can go sell my stuff with? I'm sorry, we basically did like three missions within 30 minutes. That's excellent. Uh, shop, shop. Here we are. This is what happens when you argue with bandits. Why then, buddy? What do you got? Eh, uh, you got a good weapon there, although... Yeah, I think I'll pass. I'll have to use some of my weapons and break them first. I pick up so many immunity boosters, I'm not gonna buy them from you. Uh, armor-wise, you don't have anything that I'm interested in. Did I find anything that's trash and don't want at all? Ooh! Wait, is that the one? Is that the one I'm wearing, or is that the one? No, wait, that is a different. Yeah, no, that's gonna go. You rock. Now yeah, I'm wearing that one currently. That kind of sucks. I was kind of getting excited, thinking, I perhaps. Did I actually sell the Termion? Wow, I got seven thousand, well, coins worth of valuables. Could always sell them all away. And there goes Termion, Termion, and all those things. Right then. Come back again. That is sorted. Then we'll go to sleep real quick and then perhaps in the next episode begin with the expiration date challenge and see how much time is left after that for perhaps one GRE anomaly. Which I'm not so excited about. I just really hope that when you do the GRE anomaly that the volatiles are unable to reach you during the fight or else this is gonna be extremely difficult and if they do run in there and give me massive troubles while I have to fight the GRE anomaly and what are they called the revenants right I believe they're called the revenants but 
If they join in there, I'm gonna wait till I've got the gear to handle volatiles and then come back and tackle the GRE anomalies if they give me trouble. Right then, and that is all settled. Right then, so if you guys want to see the first episode or the previous episode of Dying Light 2, you guys can go to the beginning of the video. There will be two cards popping up there. You can click on those if you're interested. There's also two links in the description. One link will take you to the Dying Light 2 playlist, and the other one will take you to my website. If you are interested, it will all be in the very bottom. Of the description. And so I hope you guys enjoyed. If this please leave a like, share it if you really liked it, comment, subscribe if you wish, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.